I do a song now, I got there's a lot of numbers in this song, so I gotta use this little cheat sheet. I am not too good with numbers. I was recently I played in Portland a few nights ago. And I was playing in this venue called the Secret Society. Have you guys heard of this place before? Because it's secret, I guess. <laughs> it worked. It's, not, it's not that secret. <laughs> but I'm playing and I'm about to go on. And uh, this girl, one of my fans, comes to me and she's like, Hey, John, have you seen the girls' bathroom here? Sure. And I was like, No, I'm not allowed in there. I don't think. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> she's like, It's really nice. And I was like, I'm sure it is. I assume all girls' bathrooms are really nice. <laughs> And she's like, they got couches and all kinds of plush things. I was like, I'm oh, sure. She's like, do you want to see it? I was like, I don't think I'm allowed. She's like, no, it's cool. Come with me. I'll peek in there if there's no one in there. You come inside and look. I said, oh, that seems fair, I guess. So we're walking over towards the, the bathroom. And it's pretty crowded in the, in the venue, but we walk out of this little hallway. And there's not much going on. And so I wasn't, my plan was to just get close, wait for her to peek in and give me the go ahead. But instead, uh, the, this like big, I'm getting close, I must have had this confidence in me. I must have looked like I was about to walk in or something like that, because this big bouncer dude stands right in front of me. He's like, yo, that's for girls only. And I was like, oh yeah, I know. Now, I should have just turned around and walked away, but instead, for some reason, I was like, it's okay. I'm John Crady. And <laughs> what I meant, what I was trying to say is like, it's, I was trying to say, it's okay, I'm the like performer here, I'm not some weirdo, and it's okay, I'm gonna turn around now. But right after I said it, I was like, well, that sounds really strange. Like, yeah, But the funniest thing about it was like, for a second, that almost like worked. The guy had this look like, really? Is there a guy named John Grady who's allowed to go in girls' <laughs> And he was like, no, I don't, it doesn't matter who you are, man, you can't go in there. And then I explained the situation to him, and we laughed, and then, He's like, well, if she peeks in and no one's there, I guess you could look. <laughs> and I was like, thanks. So he peeked in and there was no one. It was good. It was a good bathroom. It was on trust <laughs> If you're a girl or you have a friend that's a girl who will peek in for you, I suggest checking that next time you're in Portland. <laughs> I hope this song makes sense. It's a talk of blues. It's got a few numbers in it. And the aim to be as accurate as possible. You can fact check me on these numbers, it's all true, it goes like this. Well, I was driving to a gig just the other day when the president came on the radio and said marriage was okay, not just for the straights, but also for the gays like most Americans. I was amazed. Gays have to get married now. Haven't they suffered enough? <laughs> but I figured fair is fair. I was cool with it. When I got to my gig, this guy told me the president was evil, said it was written out there in his Bible. I looked over his shoulder. I said, what book is this? He said, the almighty book of Leviticus. Check it out, John, chapter 18, verse 22. No dude should lie down with another dude. That's not exactly what it said, but that's basically what it said. Now I had been to Catholic school, I didn't remember that little rule, so I borrowed his Bible, kept reading on, wanted to see what else Leviticus thought was wrong. So here's a list of the other things Leviticus thinks is wrong. Oh, that's okay. said a few interesting things. It said, don't let cows graze in the field with other kinds of cows. Don't plant more than one crop in the same field and don't wear clothes made out of more than one fabric. Hmm. I pause here to let that sink in. I also pause because nothing rhymes with fabric. Chapter 19, verse 27 says you shouldn't cut your hair or shave your beard ever. I know to most of us that doesn't sound like much fun, but I got some friends in Santa Cruz who would love that one. Verse 9 
9 of chapter 20 says you should be stoned to death if you curse your mommy or your dad. And verse 14 of chapter 24 says you should be stoned to death if you ever blaspheme the Lord. I should know that stoning people to death was way more common back then. And if any hippie friends from Santa Cruz are here tonight and they don't know what stoning to death means, I'll explain it out in the show. You're not going to like it. Chapter 20, verse 23, says all psychics and wizards should be stoned to death. That's cool with me. Verse 18, chapter 21, says anyone who is blind, deaf, or dumb, or has any other birth defect is not welcome at the altar of the Lord. Ouch, that's a little harsh. I wonder if being a folk singer is considered a birth defect. Sadly, in the eyes of Leviticus, I fear the answer is yes. Things ran off real quick. It was the first time in history where a guy with a Bible actually forced someone to stop reading. It was awesome. Now, I don't care who you vote for as long as you vote. I don't care what your religion is. I would just hope that if people can get worked up over stuff like that, maybe they can get worked up over stuff that's way, 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 way more important. By feeding people, healing sick people, loving neighbors. Jesus stuff. 